the new laws on online, online retailing from who other than Mark Law of Quidsy. Thank you very much for joining us here. Yeah, um, thanks. So, tell us about Quidsy quickly. Yeah, so Quidsy is the holding company for a series of uh, e-commerce sites. The flagship is diapers.com, deliver everything for your baby. Uh, we have soap.com, which is basically an online drugstore, wag.com, an online pet store, yo-yo, a toy store, beauty bar, a prestige beauty site, and now today we just launched casa.com, which is a home site. All these sites are connected via one common shopping cart, so you get the personalization and the specialization of a, of a you know, great shopping experience, but at the same time, you can cross shop the sites and one checkout for the convenience. Now, th these are great names, and I've seen the ads for these on the subway coming up work, you know, the strap hanging, and I'm thinking, oh, soap.com, I'll, I'll do without soap or whatever. Um, but h how is this different from pets.com? If, if you remember pets.com. I do, I do. I do. It is a sad tale, <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. And these names, like, you know, wag.com, I mean, it's, you know, it's got that ring. How are you not the next pets.com? Well, we've kind of figured out how to ship big, heavy, bulky items. Uh, at a very attractive price. So we have mm. three warehouses uh, across the country. Mm. Uh, we have robotics in all three warehouses. So we're able to get the cost of shipping down to such a point where mm. it's economically viable model. Where have you moved? What have you? Uh, could you go into that a little bit more? Because kind of yeah. the interesting thing I think is that um, at least with diapers.com and soap.com, you moved into you know e-commerce for products that typically I think people thought would not be e-commerce products, yeah. right? I mean, like, you know, household goods, mm -hmm. uh, like soap and diapers. How, how did you get the price down? Like, what, what made that an economically viable proposition? Yeah, it's just a real big focus on back-end logistics. Uh -huh. So when we started the company, we took a, the first couple of years before we even sold one item on just building the back-end infrastructure. So right. we built all our proprietary technology. We really just built the infrastructure to be able to handle, you know, big bulky items and combine them with small items in one box right. uh, and get them out fast. So not only do we, do we ship the stuff, uh, out cost effectively, but we ship it out in most cases overnight for free. Really? So about 70% of the country get overnight free delivery, and the rest of the country get two-day delivery. Well, so, well, that, I mean that, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. What's yeah. happened in the arrangements with like UPS and I guess UPS in in that, or the you know yeah. with e-commerce exploding and we, everyone wanting to do sure. overnight shipping, have the have the terms they're demanding changed or? I mean, as we get bigger, obviously we have uh, the ability to negotiate better rates right. with the big carriers, UPS and FedEx. But we also make use of a lot of regional carriers. Oh. We do some of our own shipping as well to, to basically find the the cheapest alter, you know alternative. Mm -hmm. Now, we have something in town here called Fresh Direct that does um, similar things. Um, they do ship soap, because I know I bought soap from them and shampoo and things like that. I haven't bought any diapers yet, but it's the same idea. But I bought, like, you know, pet food and things like that. So how do they, I mean, they're a relatively local operation. How do they fit into the competitive landscape for you? Are they a nightmare for you? No, I think they do a very good job with fresh food which we're not currently selling fresh food and we don't do the fresh food delivery. Yeah. But uh, when it comes to the wider assortment, we have over 150,000 products mm. delivered in New York City same day. So most of the country is overnight, but in New York in particular, same day delivery. So you have same day delivery, 150,000 products, which is a much wider assortment than you'll find in something like Fresh Direct. And um, also the variety, you can buy everything from home products to toys to pet products to everything you'd need for your household, mm. you know, the personal care and, right. and toilet paper and paper towels and stuff. Is same day the next big thing in e-commerce? I mean, are we going to see a dramatic same expansion day. Of that? I think dramatic expansion of overnight and, and also same day. And yeah, even, I mean, even a... we're trying to push the envelope even further and try yesterday. to do it within the hour. Really? So oh, we're I thought doing you were going to say we're going to push the envelope and do it yesterday. <laughs> Which I think some people today, because it was Valentine's Day, some people want right, yesterday, exactly. don't they? Like, could no, I, I have that yesterday, yeah. please? Because I'm mean, <laughs> in really big trouble. T tell us, for, for people who are watching this show, who, wa who want to be entrepreneurs and have got the entrepreneurial bug, um, what were some of the problems that you came across during building this? Because this didn't just happen. You yeah. didn't say, oh, yes, we're just going to do this, 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 and then we'll be fine and we'll just be raking in the millions. Things must have happened. What, yeah. what happened that well, went think, wrong? Er well, early on, we, we didn't. Uh, expect to not be able to buy the product from the manufacturer. So when we started out, we weren't able to buy diapers direct from Procter & Gamble and Kimberly Clark. We actually had to buy it from Costco and BJ's. So for the first and two years, it. and then ship it, and took a huge loss in every order. Yeah, because so, people could just buy it at Costco. For yeah, so, yeah, so we had to basically buy the Costco, sell to the Costco price, but then pay for shipping, pay for fulfillment. So we were losing on every box. We had to do that for up to two years. So that was a big challenge. And then also, um, the model becomes economically viable as you're able to leverage the relationship you have with the customer on the consumable items mm -hmm. to upsell all the higher margin stuff. 
Right. And so when we first started, we had just the low margin stuff. And again, it was difficult to raise money in that environment. So, so you know, getting back to Kimberly Clark and not being able to buy their products direct from them, are you a bit hopping mad with them? Do you like when you're going to negotiate with them now, are you like a little bit tougher because they didn't give you even the time of day at the beginning? Are you do, like, do, You mean do I poke them from time to time about the, the, the yeah, past? Yeah. yeah. Do you stick yeah, your yeah, fingers yeah, in their yeah, eyes? Do you go bit. like that? <laughs> Does Costco miss you? I mean, like, we, I, don't think, I don't think they miss us. Three percent of sales. Yeah, we used to go in the in the wholesale club, and the, the managers would, would would plead with us to just leave them a few cases. Yeah, so we come in and just clear out the whole thing. Is there anything that like kind of in the world of consumer products that is not going to go online that just has to continue to be shopped, you know, bought no. in retail stores? You Absolutely don't see any limit not. to that. No. Sushi. We will have sushi. No, I think su I think we could do that. I think we could do that. Within the hour, yesterday sushi. sushi within the hour. Yesterday delivery. It was fresh when we sent it. Yeah. It was. <laughs> I love it. Still swimming. <laughs> Still, Still swimming. swimming. What next? Very quickly. What What next for for your companies? Your Your, your well, slate of companies. Yeah. Well, now today's Casa.com, thirty-five thousand products. Again, right. the same fast delivery, and we'll continue to launch uh, new websites that target uh, our dem core demographic, which is the busy mom. So our mission is to make mm. mom's life easier. And we'll continue to launch all the sites that basically complement that suite of sites that we have out there today. I'm sorry, I'm, do, I'm doing a, a droop. I have one more question. I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't have a butler or a doorman, okay? So when I order something, I'm in New York City, what happens? Is that an impediment? Do you do nighttime delivery and stuff like that? That's the fresh direct thing that they do. So there's going to be a scheduled two hour delivery. window. And, and I, I, yeah, we're, it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. Scheduled delivery is coming. Because my butler's not coming because yeah, he won't work delivery. for cheap enough. <laughs> Scheduled delivery is coming, absolutely. Okay, well, there it is. Mark Law with okay. the laws on internet retailing. Thank you very <laughs> Thank much. You. Thank you, guys.